Guys, I have to apologize for my rude, uh, crude comments. I'm so awful. Am I awful? I don't mean to be. But while we're doing a little foot workout, I just want to apologize for saying things like, I, I was raised by a sailor. And he, went, he was very crude and rude. He was rough and tough. I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna get in shape. I'm gonna try to have a smoking hot body. You know I had a smoking hot body when I was young. So for me to say, I am okay. Look, I, I admit I've got I've got I've got a problem. I've got a problem. Oy vey, oy vey. Well, what do I do about this problem? <laughs> Ask my son. He, he would say it too that I've got a problem. What's my problem? Well, besides the other and besides all the regular problems. We used to have fun though, he and I. If anybody understood each other, it was me and him. So, I hope I find a dance partner someday. I want to dance with y'all. Look, I'm the ultimate dance partner. I can make anybody feel good, and I mean anyone. I can make anyone feel like they are a rock star on the dance floor. That's my special gift. It doesn't matter if you are or not. I'm gonna make you feel like you are, and I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna make you look good. I'm gonna make you look like you're giving me a good time. Because as long as I like the music, I am having a good time. Also, I I pride myself on making somebody feel good on the dance floor who doesn't normally feel good on the dance floor. It's all about step and slide, guys. Step and slide. Step and slide. Step and slide. crazy. I'm, I'm weird. Because I'm an artist. My boobs are too big. But they're magical and that's a fact. And I will hug anyone and prove to you that I have magical boobs. They all feel it. It's just a fact. 60 years old, that's me. Oh. I'm going to do 60 days to 60. Maybe I'll do... 60 different workout things as part of our routine. And then hopefully by the time I do have a birthday and I do turn 60, I will have toned up. Because I really do need to. I used to have a smoking hot body. I, I can at least have a bit more of a smoking hot body. You know, right? I mean, here's the thing. So, I, so what I did was, was it rude? I said... I usually Ernie ignores my comments, then all of a sudden today he's actually saying my comments. So I never know, but say so he shows my comments. He does he does like some of my comments. He will show them. Um but today he was he was responding to a bunch of them because I was like I said, I don't know why I do this. Okay, I'm crazy. It's the man inside of me, okay? I'm sorry. Maybe I even have a crazy male chauvinist. Not not a male chauvinist. There's just a man living inside of me. And I am definitely a straight woman, but there's a man living inside of me that um, really appreciates a beautiful woman. And I was raised with very crude men who spoke about woman, women in a very crude way. Do you, do you see the zigzag I'm making? I can't wait to get on the dance floor with a professional. I'm going to create that for me. I need to. I mean, I have no idea if I'll ever get that. I tried to put it out there. Of course, of course knowing me. I'll end up dancing with I'll end up dancing with everybody who isn't a professional, and that's fine because I like regular people. I don't need I'm not fancy that way. I like the regulars. My my parents always hung out with the the help. You know we it's like we have the Anunnaki blood, but we are we hang out with I don't know we're we're the we we have breakaways. My my family is the breakaway. Uh, you know we're not the we don't follow satanic. We're not part of those satanic cults cults. Sorry, we're not religious. We are earth beings. We're Vikings. You know, basically we're Vikings. We're not even into magic or any of that shit. We're just into salt. We're salt of the earth. We're just into being good people. And um, my dad was into building. Now, he was crude. 
and rude. And he would, so, and then there's this part of me that would say, does she have a smoking hot bod? Like, who am I, why would I say that's so rude? That is, right? I'm wrong to say that, right? Because I was teasing him. I, and I mean, I don't even know where it comes from. It's this salty dog sailor thing. Why I would say, does she have a smoking hot bod? And then I said, does she look smoking hot in a white bikini? <laughs> he didn't read that one. <laughs> but he did read a bunch of my other ones. It sounds like he's got a smoking hot chicky babe. See, I would say smoking hot chippy, chicky babe. Isn't that derogatory toward women? Would I say, do you have a smoking hot chicky babe with you? Now that's me as a man in my own mind from past lives when I used to be a big sailor and everything. And I used to be a big badass man. I know my way around a woman as a man. I also know my way around a woman as a woman. So, I mean, whatever. I don't know. What does not matter? I don't have any, I have no action. I ain't getting none. Hopefully I'll get to hug my children sometime, <laughs> you know, and their nice squishy boobs. You know, girls do have nice boobs. Girls, girls miss out. Ah, these boobs are ridiculous. I need a better bra to hold these babies in. What the hell? What the hell ski? Anyways, I would say, does she have a smoking hot bod? And I'm just saying it sort of in jest, kind of because as of like a joke to like my family, because that's what I was raised with. Very crude, rude men who did not really learn. My dad was not a Gentile man. He was not genteel. He was a rough, salty dog sailor. He was as rough and tough as they come. And he was interesting, his genetics. There was nothing his mother could do about it. He was who he was and there was nothing she could do. So I'm going like this and then pressing out. I'm going like this and then doing an extra press out. You know, just to stretch this out. I'm gonna try to lose weight. I need to tone up. Stay healthy. I wanna get strong abs, you know? Anyways, what else? Should I keep talking or what? So anyway, I don't mean to offend, but there is this part of me that has that in it because I remember being a man in past lives. So I, it is, it is literally the most natural thing in the world for me to say to some certain people, does she have a smoking hot bod? And it's usually a guy. And it's this weird part of me that's a guy that's, that look, that's rude and says, hey, look at her. You know, like I'll, I will literally appreciate a, a smoking hot babe. I'll be like, wow, she's a smoking hot babe. Check her out. I used to, I am crazy. I admit it. I apologize for all the damage I've done pointing out smoking hot babes. As an artist, so you got to give me a little credit. You, here, here's where you can forgive me for the whole thing. A, it's how I was raised. And B, I'm an artist. So I used to do sculptures of women and men. And women are more fun because they got the curves, right? So as a as an artist, as a sculptor, and I'm very I'm a very good sculptor by the way. That's one of my talents. I'm really good. I'll show you someday. I'll show you my sculpture someday. I made this beautiful one on my mother's head. It looks just like her. I'm actually very good at I draw better in clay than I do with with I draw better in clay than I do. I'm an, I'm an old-time sculptor. I worked on the damn Sistine Chapel in a past life. You know, I I know how to sculpt. I'm from that, I'm from that bloodline, Phoenicians, but the artists, the artists, those Italians, those Merovingians, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I know how to sculpt. I do not need training. It's in my blood. I know how to sculpt. I know how to um, whitewash. I know how to drywall. I know how to do all that shit. It's in my blood. And it's in my ancient key codes because I have done many things in my life, okay? So... Part of me, I was a man, probably a rude and crude man. Maybe I needed to be a woman in this lifetime so I could learn what it was like to have rude and crude men putting women down. That's it. That's why. That's why this happened. I just, I just answered it for myself.